hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel some hours ago the president had actually promised nigerians of uh, the issue of um, food security via the creation of farm estate in 108 um, senatorial district fast forward to some some few hours ago meet and i seem to be collaborating with what the presidency is saying i guess there's more that meets the eyes there's so much more that the nigerians are looking but they're really not seeing and, and of course they're also calling out uh, the nas the national assembly to look into the issue of open grazing in southern nigeria southern part of nigeria and many much more Mm. these guys opened up on so many things their demands what they want and the way forward how they want their ministry to be uh, reformed what they want for their own people as a people and also as a race before going to the newspaper to find out the outlines of what they have demanded from the leadership of nigeria federal government and you know uh, politicians alike like you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you see a bell notification i complete go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on youtube well the, uh, the Fulani cattle breeders in the country have appealed to the president Muhammad Buhari and the National Assembly to do anything possible to frustrate anti open grazing laws being passed by some states across the country, describing the laws as satanic against their age long tradition. The cattle breeders operating under the aegis of Meet Ala Kotohore express concerns over the actions of states particularly southern states insisting that they were counterproductive to their known economic business the group at the press conference in abuja decried the ranching method of rearing cattle as captured in the anti open grazing laws noting that ranching as envisaged by many requires massive capital investment and difficult to sustain not economical and is not small livestock holder centered Reading a prepared test at by the media conference, the National Secretary of Media Allah Kutohore Engineer Salah Al Hassan called on the National Assembly to come to the rescue of the pastoralists by resuscitating and passing the Grazing Reserves Commission Bill <laughs> and other livestock management bills that were initiated by previous National Assembly. <laughs> To serious so according to the group if the anti-open grazing laws were allowed the economic activities of the pastoralists would be completely destroyed the fulani social cultural organization insisted that the country must instead of pressing ahead with the anti-open grazing laws key into strategies in responding to the challenges of climate change as it affects livestock production the group said we want the National Assembly and Mr. President to intervene and stop the current attempt by some state governors to criminalize our means of economic livelihood of cattle rearing through the enactment of satanic obnoxious laws called the anti-open grazing laws targeted at flanny pastoralists. According to the group, the federal government should create a federal ministry of livestock a fisheries or livestock and fisheries as obtained in many African countries. Government should take an inventory of all the existing grazing reserves, traditional grazing reserves, transhumans, corridors, major stock routes, and fully develop at least one grazing reserve in each senatorial zone line with the recommendation of the Inter Ministerial Committee livestock development in nigeria 2015 the report of presidential committee on pastoralist and insecurity 2014 and the national livestock transformation program the test read that's it going back to national livestock transformation program what is really going on with these guys why are they so hell-bent on this same this national and livestock another form of ruga what is there something else we do not understand? They're saying that they are beginning to embrace a lot of issue of ranching in the north. They've started issuing out a lot of funds for that. Those who want to return home should go back home and you know embrace uh, this issue of ranching. The the, the arable lands, the um, hectares of land already made uh, made available. They're now quickly developing it for their own consumption. What is it they're insisting that they should all come to the southern part of Nigeria? Let's continue with the news, please.
It described the anti-grazing laws and policies as nothing but populist and corruption-driven agenda designed to destroy pastoralist means of livelihood. It said the laws do not take into cognizance the sociology, economic production system, climate variation, and other push factors that are inherent in pastoralist movements across eco ecological zones. The group for the Further claimed that the laws will destroy livestock production and send into poverty millions of people that depend on the livestock value chain as the butchers, the transporters, the livestock dealers, and consumers who are used to affordable sources of milk. The laws will undermine the relative peace and stability currently enjoyed by the local communities and threaten the social order. Excuse me? Relative peace where? How would you be hearing what has been going on with the issue of insecurity? Nigerians, a lot of, especially from the southern part of Nigeria, they keep shouting the work and what Flanny has been did to their farm. Videos have been going viral upon, you know, op videos upon videos about the mayhem being caused by Flanny Headers. Or mm -hmm. Hello, peace. Let's continue with the news. <laughs> the laws will ex exacerbate cattle rustling in the local communities as criminal gangs and state-sponsored vigilantes will use the opportunity to institutionalize the nefarious activities of cattle rustling. The loss will lead to serious humanitarian crisis as families will be destabilized and market and economic livelihood will be disrupted and the loss will lead to massive cross-border migration that will create further security challenges, the group said. These dangerous and satanic laws must be nipped in the board by the National Assembly to safeguard the Constitution as it is a potential greater danger to the corporate existence of, of the country, Nigeria. These oppressive laws and hostile policies being enacted by the state governors are fundamentally going against the Flanny pastorist culture, economic interests, and constitutional rights. It is important to note that interstate movement of pastoralists is analogous, analogous to interstate commerce, which is an exclusive reserve of the legislative power of the National Assembly. Mm. They said they want existing African Union and a course protocol regulations on, on pastoralists and implementation of strategies to put in place. The group further called, called for the incorporation of pastoral development, pasture development in implementation of great, great green war program in combating densification and its preservation of small water bodies a review of the land is art is long overdue to accommodate the interest of all land re resource users particularly pastoralists it says which land use us what that's where you want to amend your law now you want to go to land use to go and amend law just to favor you how do you everybody now is it you just you're not even thinking of the indigenous people all you're just thinking of is your past your pasture your cow your pasture your cow haven't you been hearing antecedent of what your boys do on with with indigenous people and nigerians have complained southerners have complained over this no one seemed really to listen and now the chief security officers of each southern state are not taking, you know, looking at the outcry of the people and you're saying that they should go and review the land use act just to favor you. Hmm. Let's meet in that conversation.